What is up guys? This is Burger Chops here and today we are making some bunting. I've got some lovely skull material and the, if the measurements for it are 22 centimetres. 22 centimetres. Ah, 22 centimetres down and 16 across so we did 8 16 8 16 across and then we did 8 16 across the top of them so it'd be so this top would be that bit of another one so they continuously make triangles yes so you're gonna be, you're gonna be watching us make this one so enter time that's my <laughs> Welcome back. So we have drawn. I've drawn the first line along the edge just to make it a bit more in line, and then I've drawn 20, 22 centimeters down this line across. You can see all my little markings that go along there, and there. Yeah. So right now I've just done the eight sixteen dots. So I'm gonna be now. I'm gonna be cutting it out and drawing out the triangles. Back in time, Max mode. So guys, I have welcome back. I have just done the second half of this off camera. You saw me doing that bit. And I'm just going to be doing, using my half dash scissors to cut up, cut along the thick lines. Now I'm going to use my pink inches for the triangles. So we've come out the lounge and we've come to the ironing board. We've done all the flags. And so this is what we're going to use for. So you're going to put the oh, bunting inside and then fold it up. We are using Wonderweb. It's, it's a type of very thin glue that just to stick it, stick it on before we sew it with the machine. And yeah, we're gonna need to cut it to the right sizes, then we're leaving a gap of eight in between each one. Right now, the first step is to iron it in half. So, guys, I'm back. We've just done the first one. So, I have just measured eight centimeters between the two of those, and I'm gonna, I have. My mum's just ironed this bit, then eight centimetres apart. I need to take off a bit of wonder web. Then I come inside and put that across here. And then I put it in there and fold it over. Then we'll iron it. Yeah. So guys, we have done three more. So it goes up, down, up, down. They are all ironed and fixed in place. I'm not gonna take my chances with this and, and wiggle it. <laughs> yeah, so onto the sewing machine. So this is how he, th this is the sewing machine. I'm using John Lewis Special Edition and I'm doing very small yeah very small zigzags so first of all i put this round there and hoop through there i go down and take it under that 
I have this bit where the needle is connected to, and then I need to thread the needle. And that is threaded that I pull it under the foot and you're ready to sew. So guys, this is what it looks like. There's a light green on one side and a dark green on the other. I've got, I've done four. And so let's go on with some more. This is Berg Drops and we are back. I've done my next four. Right, we are up, upside down, right, we are up, upside down. And it's time to go back to the sewing machine and keep you updated. Let's do some slow mine. Watch the needle. Now I am, I've got the right amount of underweb and I'm sticking it in the all the ironed in half piece. I'm estimating here. Oh, ah. There, and then I close it up. See that is just a bit under. So I'll move it. And then, then that is what eight centimeters. Let's iron it. Okay, so let's do a bit of sewing. This is the quickest that it can go. end right to the top and then somewhere over here yep here I need to do this bit here and then the light that comes off then this bit here 
and then I'm going to do a bit more ironing. So let's go go get sewing. Oh space. So that is the end of this video. I have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen pieces. And I'll say it looks quite good. Yeah, so all I can say now is like, subscribe, share and peace out.